Welcome everyone back to another Minecraft video. Today what we're going to be doing is kind of following on from the same theme as yesterday and just exploring around a little bit more and just I think my sound is really high. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So following from the same theme as yesterday and exploring a bit more. So yesterday I found a lot of treasure but I didn't find you know exactly what I wanted such as saddles etc. So what we're going to do is just do that basically and start exploring. So see when I find something. I found myself this thing here. All I saw was that magma block and ooh, that is fancy. Let's see where this is just in case I die. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, so um it seems to be some kind of structure. I see one chest which is good. That is exactly what I'm looking for. I need those chests. And now I need to mine this. Okay, can I know I can't I don't think I can mine this in time, so let's just get my breath up. Okay, cool and then let's go back down again. See this tactical. And what's in this chest? All this for that, okay. Well, coal is always useful. Uh, there anything, any more, if any more? I mean, there's a magma block, but... I mean, it's a magma block, I have loads of those already. I can just go to the nether for that. Okay, that might actually be it. Okay, so thank you for watching, this is this episode, and uh, of course we'll find something else. I just don't know what yet, but you know, this is the point of exploring. But see you soon anyway. Okay, so it turns out actually I am the best explorer ever because I found myself a woodland mansion. And that is something I did really want to find. This is why I kept in this biome. And I literally almost missed it. I was just going on this straight line looking this way, looking at those mountains over there. And I found a woodland mansion. Now, a woodland mansion, in case you were wondering, is basically kind of like the best thing in the woodlands. This might be one of the best um, like treasure places in the actual overworld. Um, however, I'm not yet well prepared to fight that. It's just it's not like um, uh, I actually need much more, just need a few torches, etc. But currently, uh, there's no way. I mean, there's loads of treasure and everything in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm basically, well, that is really cool, is I'm basically going to go back home, get some torches. Um, I might, oh, now I'm good, thank you. Unlucky man. Uh, I'm going to get some, right, let me just get the coordinates first, okay cool, I'll, uh, if I'm lost I'll review the video afterwards, but oh, I can hear them as well, okay, so basically I'm going to uh, go back home, get some torches etc, um, probably a gold apple, the enchanted one, food etc, and then uh, come back and hopefully clear this area, now, I don't know, I might just, um, pacify all the um uh, any uh mobs what well, I mean pacify could either mean um uh block them or actually kill them and I'm just gonna loot the area so see you Stand when I'm ready stops. yeah so I'm about ready to go and one thing I have been working on however is an enchanted book so you might have seen that my levels keep are, are quite low most of the time that's not only because I keep dying but also because uh, I've been enchanting up some stuff so one of the main things I've been enchanting is uh, a book, so you can see here I have a power 4 enchanting book and now I actually have enough levels to get that bow and here we go and also have enough levels to name it, so I'm going to name it I think the classic is the AK-47 uh, one second, this, that's, a, that's a capital K, there we go, okay so we have here, okay, whoa, whoa, okay that was unexpected, I didn't know it was that expensive to give it a name Okay, so what I'll do then is I will see you at the Woodland Mansion. On my way to the Woodland Mansion, I found uh, these guys here. Now, I know that the flag guy summons a raid if I kill him. So, guess what I'm going to do? So, I'm going to kill him. Yep, bye. Okay. That was uh, embarrassing. It's just kind of difficult to play this with lag. Okay, here we go. Bah. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, ooh, that really hurt, didn't it? Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, and I got a nice banner. Cool. Okay, um, well, I will actually, I hope, see you in the middle mansion this time instead of just messing around. So, yeah, so here we are at the um, mansion. You can hear them already. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up from the top and okay, I hear those ambient noises 
Oh, I already see them. What's this? Is this like a meeting of some sort? Okay. Alright. Basically, this is kind of bad because they are actually very strong mobs and we do recommend like full dumb and dumb, etc. And I don't really have that, as you could probably imagine. Okay. Right now, the difference between the evokers and the vindicators, from what I've heard, I, I read, I watched like a video on it, so I'm an expert. Um, and so basically, the vindicators, or the ones with the axes, aren't too bad. You can just dig up on them. I mean, they do loads of damage. Cool. Let's enter from here. They do loads of damage. Don't get me wrong, but they aren't too too bad because um, if you go up on like two blocks, they can't do anything, and they block you, and you can block them. So that guy, Vincent, over there is fine. So literally if I do this then I walk towards him. I don't want to waste my arrows on Hello? Hello? Aha, there we go. So right now he shouldn't be able to hit me. I can simply block him in. Cool, that's him sorted. Yeah, unlucky. Now, the thing is, I could kill him and I would get some good stuff, but I don't know, it's the first one, so... Oh, 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 oh no, poor you. I need the experience. Although, actually, then again. Just in case, I might just save them and then get the experience later. Um. No, okay. Two, oh, okay, he was actually, okay. Never mind, he was alive and he could have hit me. Alright, let's get back there, I suppose. The coordinates were 5, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. If I remember correctly, that's X and Z. I don't really care about the Y coordinates. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll get some more food whilst I'm here. And that apple. My amazing plan didn't work out so well. Let's get some blocks as well. So yeah, as you can tell, I was easily too shocked. And uh, I died. So hopefully next time I'll actually have a better light then, so I'm back. Um, hopefully round two will be good. Um, and I'm, I'm back but with a thirst for revenge, you know, so I think this time I'm going to absolutely obliterate them. Not like kill them necessarily, but you know, I'm going to embarrass them. You know, killing them is too kind for what they did, even though I am technically invading their house. But as usual, since I am the conqueror here, and I will eventually get them, um, I'm the one who's always in the right. That's how it works in history as well. And in modern day politics, but no politics on this channel. Okay. So let's not fall in there, because that will be instant death. Let's enter from where we came last time. As you can see, I've bought a few blocks along as well. Let's get to here. So this time I'm going to trap the guy in, and then sort him out. So my stuff's here. Is he? Where is he? Ah, oh, okay. That's not good. Oh, come on, man. I was literally, oh, come on, man. Come on. Okay. Let's try again. Okay, third time the charm, then. Well, at this rate, I might as well build a minecart track to the wooden mansion. Thing is, like, I am actually being really patient with these guys because my original plan was just to burn the whole thing down and collect the chests. And, uh, as you can see, I've given, oh, okay. I'm giving them some mercy. But if they keep annoying me, you know, they're not going to get it anymore. They are probably going to die, like... They're going to die, not just death, but like a miserable, burning death, you know. So, they need to watch themselves a little bit. Just let me kill them without killing me. I mean, that's perfectly fair in my opinion, but... Each of their own, I suppose. It is also night time. So, well, you know what, actually, I might do the pro gamer strat and actually sleep here. Because... I think I can find my way back anyway. Oh, dear. Oh no, I have oh. wrong way. Sorry, ma'am. Here we go. No. Okay. Now, the thing is, it's quite dark as well. Oh dear. Maybe it's three blocks high I need to be. Nope. Oh, that's too high for me. Hi, man. It's me again. Hey. Oh, that's a creeper. I think they can jump, but they can't jump this high. So, oh, ha, ha, unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Yeah. 
Mate, you can't be too smart for you. Okay. Okay, back here then. There we go. Okay. Right, I am somewhat safe for now. Until I get engaged by something else. Oh, that guy scared me. I was like, come oh, on, there's another one. Okay, cool, cool. Alright then. Let's just quickly get this on. One, two, three. This here. Cool. Okay, get the torches out as well. Alright, so what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm probably going to try and sleep here. Just because of all the mobs. It's quite dark and also when I die. It's not like an if anymore. It is when. Uh, when I die, I can uh, be spawned here. Okay, so we have... Okay, let's do another pro gamer strat and get rid of all the carpets so I can place down blocks forever. Now, is that the evoker? I think it might be. Let's go into this room first. Is there anyone in here? There's a creeper. Okay, let's enter in uh, three blocks high. And go around. Let's get that. I don't need this for now. A creeper can blow me up from this height, I believe. But, okay, let's get rid of it. A chop. Okay, this room is safe. Clear, okay, cool. Right, so as I said, we have the evokers around this corner. Now, that's not an evoker. Okay. I might need to start mining their wood to do this strat, you know, the pro gamer strategy. Come on, come on. Oh dear, that's not what I wanted. No, no that, that's fine, that's fine. That's not what I wanted. Uh, those can summon nasty stuff. I don't want to really engage that this time. Okay. Right, let's see. Get out of the way, I don't want to kill you. Okay. Oh. I was literally about to release the trigger. But, uh, okay. Pop. 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 No, don't stop saving him. Ah, there we are, he's dead. Oh, no! Oh my god. Oh my god. That's scary. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this is not going well. Alright. Of course, I am the best uh, Minecraft gamer ever, so. <laughs> Alright, let me mm, get some wool so I can make a bed. Alright, see you back there, I suppose. Okay, you're around like four or five. I don't really know, don't care. I mean, you just want them dead. Uh, I'm gonna have them dead. I didn't bring, bring even any blocks, so I need to chop some trees down. Okay. Cool. So, like I said, it's just the evokers, the ones that summon the stuff that are actually a problem. The vindicators are fine, but the evokers, they will summon those vexes. And I can two shot them with my bow, as in the evokers. And I can one shot the vexes, but they are super hard and they're fast. And as you saw, they do a lot of damage. And um, if you're someone like me who doesn't really have good armor, so there's that. I need to work out a strategy for them. It'll probably be like uh, shooting them fast. But like I said, I bought some more along. So as soon as get night uh, comes, night time, I will uh, sleep in here because I can make my own way back. I believe uh, there's a compass as well. I mean, if I can get a compass, then it'll show me where I need to go. And then um, I should be all dandy. Okay. Let's get the stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Okay. See, this isn't good. It turns out I'm not as good as I thought. This is end level stuff. Like, you, you fight these people after you beat the Ender Dragon. Like, and even then, it's hard. Wait, have I blocked out this guy? I didn't. Hmm. I didn't block him properly, did I? Okay, now I have. Okay, cool. 
And there's my stuff. I should be safe to get it. There is a creeper though. Place creeper. Okay, I have my sword, it's all good. And my armor. <laughs> okay. Nope. No, no. No, no, no. Not yet. Work through it systematically. One floor at a time. Many deaths after many deaths. Okay, cool. All right, let's get this armor going. This. Three, one, two. Food and torches and blocks. Cool. Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? You don't want this. Oh, there's another evoker. Oh my god. Okay. That evoker just saw me. Got direct eye contact. Like I said, I don't really want to fight them evokers. Uh, so I haven't thought of a plan for them yet. Oh, there's another one. And those vexes can go through blocks as well. Nah. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll wait as long as I can to get a very nice clear shot. And then I will engage. Or should I wait till night time? Nah, because it's the whole day. I need to wait. I don't have much time because I have a job interview later on today. And I kind of need to go to that because it's a job interview. So I saw two evokers. Well, at least I saw one twice. So as in I saw two. I don't know whether it's the same one or not. I do have a token for undying. That will be useful if I can get to it. That those are all the indicators. The evoker's there, but he's, he's it's not good. Because I literally, I can't uh, kill him. Okay, cool. I've got one. Is he trapped? I think he is. Cool. Right, that guy's trapped. Hi. Hi, hello. Hello. Hello, do you see me? Three, four, and down here, five. And just to make sure. Okay. Let's see, is that good? I think it is. Okay, cool. Now I can get the totem of undying. Where is it? Did it despawn? Did it actually despawn? How did it despawn? I was literally right here. Or was it? Okay, let's kill this guy. I don't know where it is. Is it down here? I think it despawned here. How did it despawn? I was, I was like, I came here. I can't really fight the other evoker without this totem. So. Is there anyone in here? No? Okay. Okay, cool. Now the evoker should be around that corner over there. In fact, I can hit him. Not good. Okay. And I'm running out of cobblestone. Well, that's fine because there's plenty of wood here. <sighs> he was about to die. They keep moving. These. Mm -hmm. I think he saw me. Right, let's get the angle. I'll wait for him to come around here and then I'll bash him. Well, I'll attack him. Ooh, this might actually be a two part episode. Because, I'm not going to lie to you, this will probably take a long time to clear properly. Okay. He seems to be in another room. So, I wonder how well the potion invisibility will work in here. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Alright, stay away, 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 Okay, is he dead? First of all, is it? Yeah, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Alright, let's, uh... Okay, come on, man. 
No, die. Why, why, why are you ticking? Okay, he's dead. Okay, he's not dead. Okay, I'm dead. There are two more, I believe. Is it time for the golden apple? I think it is time for the golden apple. Okay, now I'm invincible. What are you going to do? Oh, you missed. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, poor you. Oh, ah. oh, oh you're dead. <laughs> oh, unlucky. Wait, do I just need to wait? Uh, I think this is um, some Minecraft wiki time. Do I literally just need to wait? Well, if I do, then I can just run around and dodge them. Okay. Well. Things, like I said, this episode is starting to get very long. Although I have cleared a fair bit of the... Well, I haven't really... Aha, it's night time. Cool. Now, there is no way they can fight me. As soon as I start spawning back in here, it's over for them. Uh, let's just do this. Thomas, my knees are still shaking from fighting that thing. Okay. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Okay, let's go to somewhere. I know there shouldn't be any monsters. Let's go over here. Anyway, I'll end this episode here. So thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully next time I'll actually finish this mansion. And goodbye.